Hi everyone, so today I had planned to uh, make a how to make a pot roast video but um, that didn't happen. I felt real tired and down and kind of sad today and I'm just being real. I didn't feel like cooking and I didn't feel like or making brownies or I, I just felt like talking about something really real today. Um, so it's gonna be real talk. Uh, <laughs> um, something real that happened to me today and freeing. So I thought that it'd be maybe helpful to share. So recently I've been reading this book. Um, I've been reading this book called uh, The Last Arrow. Um, and there was this part, this chapter that was talking about setting your past on fire um, and letting go of it, burning your past so that you can live a, a brighter, more beautiful, wonderful future um, that God has planned for you. And I don't know, it just really stirred something in my heart as I read those pages. Um, brought up the thought in my mind that, you know, every morning I get ready for work or whatever. And in my jewelry box, uh, I would always see um, my old, engagement ring and wedding ring that I don't wear anymore because I'm divorced um, and of course you know you see that and it doesn't bring you know wonderful happy feelings when you look at that but you know I would just put my earrings on and go forward with my day but I mean every day or you know mo most of every week at least I would open my jewelry box and see that sitting there um, so I don't know, for some reason, uh, reading the that chapter in this book um, just stirred something in my heart. And I kind of just, I want to read an, ex, an excerpt, eh, do you know how you say, a, a, maybe a paragraph or two out of the book to you. So here we go. If for no other reason, it's important to set your past on fire, to set yourself free from all the things that you keep holding on to, that keep holding on to you. And that doesn't go just for physical possessions. Set the bitterness on fire. Light it up with forgiveness and watch it burn. Put the wounds behind you. Put the betrayal behind you. Put the disappointment behind you. Put the regret behind you. Put the failures behind you. Or better yet, cut them into pieces. Turn them into an altar and let them burn. All that stuff is just baggage. It's too much weight to carry, and it will weigh you down and hold you back. So, you know, I, <laughs> I that really like touched me, and I was just like, dude, man, he's right. He has a point. Um, in essence, I, I think just by even still owning like those rings, it was kind of like holding on to something, and I don't know why. Uh, probably because you know, honestly, like in my marriage, you know. We really did love each other um, and care for each other deeply. And um, I mean, to, to show you a little insight of what, what was um, etched in, in my wedding band, um, uh, he had written, uh, my love, my joy, because that's what I, I was to him at the time and in that season, right? So yeah, it was painful. Um, and you know, women don't walk down the aisle expecting to <laughs> you know get a divorce someday after they get married it's like you know a divorce is like the death of a dream and to grow old with a, a person to love them for life to um be faithful and happy and you know things like that but um we go to school for so many things in life we we go to school to learn um uh, about a business or um like, um, I don't know, dentistry, you, uh, you, you go to school to be a doctor, to be a lawyer, you go to school, yeah, to, to be a teacher, you know, all these things. But we don't go to school to learn how to be married, how to excel in marriage and how to be a wonderful, faithful partner. Um, so we don't uh, go to school um, to learn how to be a parent. And that's kind of just like, figure it out on your own, you'll figure it out and fall flat on your face and figure it out. So it's kind of crazy. Um, but I, I wanted to talk and be real about how, you know, I think a lot of maybe young American girls are 
are misled when they watch movies like Cinderella or whatever Disney movies that have the princess marrying the handsome prince and then you live happily ever after. But the truth of the matter is, marriage is hard, it's work, and um, not every day is gonna be full of joy <laughs> and laughter and butterflies and twinkling stars and all that stuff. <laughs> Marriage is work. It's hard work and you're gonna have good days. You're gonna have bad days um, A parent might pass away uh, You know, you know someone a loved one may pass away uh, You know financial crisis may come up um, Secrets kept from each other uh, Affairs might happen um, Lies, you know deceit all that stuff. I mean, it's it's there. It's it's there behind closed doors in houses and um, that's the truth and it's crazy because people don't talk about it because they usually believe that they're the only ones going through it or oh the the thoughts that are it must be only me or it's just me or you know and the crazy thing is is that over the years that people have confided in me that friends and family have um, and just actually sometimes people have just met like <laughs> they they feel that they they can trust me and confide in me to share um, some struggles or pain that they're going through and I found that man everybody's going through something and um, every family has brokenness and you know what it's it's okay there's nothing wrong with you you know so I guess I just wanted to say this to say if you feel lonely or discouraged or depressed or um, there's pain in your heart or or you feel confused or just uh, hopeless. Um, know that you can get through it. Um, know that there's a purpose for your life and that you can get through uh, tough times. And I can say that because I've lived through it and I've gone through pain, a deep pain. I've had days where I could barely breathe because I was so sad. I It was hard and heartbroken. You know, I had, I had days when I cried so much that I got tired of crying. I was so exhausted, um, just tired and sad. And I felt like my world was chaos and that my world was crumbling before my eyes, just crashing down around me. Um, but what got me through is my faith in God. And when I say that, and I, I'm talking about a God who flung stars into the space and um, a God who's loving and faithful and kind and I, I, I came to to know um, his love for me in the most broken times of my life and that's what I'm talking about here I'm talking about love like love just to, to feel loved um, and fulfilled, I think, for the first time in my life. But it, the crazy thing is, the ironic thing is, it was in my brokenness when I felt that love for me. Um, and uh, today was significant for me because I was able to uh, literally let go of my past and, and let it burn by selling my uh, old wedding ring and my old engagement ring and I got rid of it and I let go and let it burn and um, I bought a nice simple ring uh, to re to uh, to I guess symbolize the strength that I now know that I have I, I, I have a strength inside me that I never knew was in me but I found out through one of the hardest times in my life um, and I found joy and I found peace and um, I can honestly say that I'm thankful um, for my divorce because it made me stronger and it made me value myself more um, as an independent woman. So um, today was significant for me because I feel free. I, I didn't know, um, I mean I felt free before but it's today I felt lighter. Like I don't have to open my jewelry box and and see um, those symbols of my past because you know what? My past is my past, that's my history and I'm grateful for the lessons that I learned in that season of my life. 
but it's such a wonderful thing to know that I'm moving forward and I have a bright and beautiful future in front of me. And I just wanted to encourage you today that you have a bright and beautiful future in front of you, that you have value, that you have purpose. Um, and I wanted to say, don't give up. You can find joy even in the midst of losing everything you have um, just by finding things to be thankful for. Um, we've had um, crazy wildfires in, in California um, where people, thousands of people have lost their homes, they've lost everything. Um, all the material possessions that they have that they treasured, you know, I'm sure, photos and, and some people lost their lives. Um, but at the end of the day, like, even in the midst of losing um, all that you have, uh, you, you can find um, treasure in, in the small things. You can find um, beauty in, in the ashes. You can, you can be thankful for the small things. I'm thankful for clean water. Um, say, I'm thankful for my cup of coffee today. Um, I'm thankful for uh, 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 hot water to, to be able to take a shower. I'm thankful for a roof over my head. I'm thankful for my bed. I'm thankful for the clothes I have on my back. Like, you know, I'm thankful for uh, the air that I get to breathe. I'm thankful for, for the fact that my heart is beating. And you know, another thing that I've been thinking about recently is that um, in this season of my life, I've learned that moments are not promised to us. Like, w one thing that's totally guaranteed is at the end of the day, um, I don't know if I have tomorrow. I don't, I don't know if I have tomorrow, so I want to enjoy my moments today. I want to enjoy my life today. I want to be content with what I have today, but yet have the drive to know that I have the ability and the smarts and the strength to, to work hard for more, like, you know, to attain goals, to, to, um, be excellent in what I do, um, what I say, how I treat people, like to um, strive for the best in, in all things as a person of um, character, trying to be the best person or the best version of me that I can be. And um, I don't know, I, I think I wanted to be vulnerable and share um, just to bless somebody, uh, just to to share good. And there's so many people out there who are just saying negative things and it's all over the news and all this stuff, but gosh, man, people need an encouraging word. People need to be refreshed. People need it. So if you ever have a nice thought about somebody, please share it with them. They're never going to know unless you tell them. They're never going to know. If you, you think a person is wonderful because, you know, she smiled at you today or she, she said something kind to you, just express your appreciation. It's so simple. Just tell them. Um, because people need to be encouraged and refreshed and people need love. People need to be loved. They yearn for it at the root of everyone's hurt and pain and like rejection and things that you've been through man at the root of it people just want to be loved that's what i've realized um and also you know going back on the topic of burning your past and letting go burn that bitterness um burn that unforgiveness burn all those feelings of anger like let it burn and <laughs> let it go and it's so freeing to do that and you, you could have peace and joy and um, love instead of those things that, that um, harden your heart. So, I don't know. With that said, um, I wish you love and joy, <laughs> peace and happiness. And I'm for real. Like, I really, I really want the best for people. Like, I wish more people would realize how truly wonderful and special and unique you really are. Um, because I think people forget, like, I think I've, I've read this, like, 
quote somewhere. Um, if you don't believe in miracles, maybe you've forgotten you are one. It's like holding a newborn baby. If you can think back on holding like a newborn baby in your arms and watching their little chests, you know, rise and fall as they breathe or if they yawn or, you know, just seeing a newborn baby and realizing what a miracle you're holding in your arms. You were once that newborn baby, which means you are the miracle that w that laid in, in as a newborn baby. Like at first, I mean, you, you, you've grown up over the years, obviously, but don't forget that you're a walking miracle. I mean, your heart is beating. It's not like you remind your heart to beat. Um, you're breathing every day. It's not like you remind yourself to breathe consciously every day. So I don't know. I just wanted to encourage people today. Know that you're deeply loved, significant and valued. And um, I just wanted to encourage you in the midst of pain and hurt, um, you can move forward with hope and joy. So don't give up and keep fighting. Um, there's so much to look forward to um, and you have a wonderful future in store for you. So believe today, just believe it um, and know that you're loved, deeply loved. Thanks for listening. Bye guys.